Florida, Tennessee. Remember when this game mattered? I mean, really mattered, big time mattered. Always CBS at night, second or third week of September, nationally ranked teams. And we're not talking about number 23 versus number 18. Top five teams going for the Eastern Division in the SEC and national pride. This game mattered on the national landscape for a long time, from the late 80s up until about 10 years ago. In fact, Tennessee or Florida represented the Eastern Division in the SEC Championship game for the first 10 SEC Championship games. And every year, the Gators and the Vols were ranked in the top 10. Mark Rogers TV on Tennessee, Florida 2012, and we've got a feel approaching that level with number 23 taking on number 18 and the Vols and the Gators both ranked in this matchup for the first time since 2007. Both teams undefeated at 2-0. Tennessee has been down in recent years, 1-7 in the SEC. Shoot, they lost to Vandy in Kentucky, for goodness sakes, and they haven't had playmakers on offense in Knoxville for quite a long time, but they've got playmakers now. Big time guys and Justin Hunter and Corderell Patterson. These guys lead the league in receptions and all purpose yards. And for Justin Hunter, we'd like to see him stay healthy because he was in this position last season after two games, led the SEC in pass receptions before he tore an ACL. Tyler Bray completing 74% of his passes for Tennessee, six touchdowns, no picks through two games. Tennessee defeated North Carolina State to open things up and then Georgia State last week. They've looked impressive, especially against an NC State team that people pick to be a sleeper in the ACC. Tennessee will throw it on offense, but Florida gives up little defensively. No touchdown passes through the air in two games by the Gators defense. Now, when Florida's got the football, they like to keep it on the ground. Will Muschamp wants to make this a tough team. He wants to keep it on the ground and pound ahead with Mike Gillisley. Leading the SEC with 231 rushing yards, but got his knee banged up against Texas A&M. We'll see how Gillisley reacts against the Vols' defense. Florida has won this matchup seven consecutive years, but the Vols are a three-point favorite at home on Saturday. We like Florida with defense and playmaking on that side of the football to pull out the win and, of course, cover the spread. Call it Florida 20 and Tennessee 16 as we finally, again, get a great Florida-Tennessee matchup. Would love to hear what you have to say about Florida and Tennessee on Mark Rogers TV.